Just after Christmas, Gabriel, who's usually very energetic, was uh, starting to experience frequent urination, and then it kind of stopped. So I was a little bit curious, something was going on, then it stopped on its own. And about the beginning of January, he began urinary fre urinating frequently one day, and then the next day, and then that same next day, we usually go on a three-mile family walk, and he decided we were about five houses down. He sat on the sidewalk and said, I can't walk any further. So I took him to the family doctor the next day and was actually, actually shocked when he said, um, I just want to check his blood sugar. But I just hadn't thought we had no family history. I thought maybe a bladder infection. Uh, and he checked his blood sugar and it was elevated three hours after eating. And he said, this uh, is suspicious. And he took his uh, urine test and there was glucose and ketones in his urine. And he said, I'd like you to go for full testing tomorrow morning because it looks like he has type 1 diabetes. And I remember it just shocked me. I hadn't been thinking along those lines. So it was quite a shock. And uh, of course, her being a nurse and uh, me working for a healthcare company, we're very familiar with what diabetes means. Uh, and the long-term consequences that, of that for um, anybody that's, that's going to uh, have to have insulin. And we actually started taking his blood sugars because we got some uh, blood sugar testing kit. Mm -hmm. And we started taking them in the weekend because we wanted to know, too, what was going on. And some were elevated, and we were just very surprised. And the doctor called us Monday and said, yes. Uh, they, it looks like he does have type 1 diabetes, but it's very unusual. You caught it. It looks like it at an unusually early stage. His prediction was that he will be, this was in February of this year, 2008, that by August, uh, the beginning of August was his prediction. I predict within six months, Gabriel will be insulin dependent and you know, on medicine, insulin the rest of his life and be hospitalized. At that point, he was preparing us what to expect. And uh, we just went home devastated. The way I described it, it was like mourning the loss, uh, you know, a certain type of loss with your child because you realize that, yeah, they can lead a normal life to a certain degree, but you would now become enslaved to the uh, blood uh, testing, the, you know, the, the glucose testing and the uh, insulin injections and calculating carbs and all of that kind of stuff and uh, then thinking the long-term consequences just throughout, it just wreaks havoc throughout your body. Uh, and kids, the age of Gabriel and Nathan and what that would mean for them long-term, it was like mourning. We were ready to find an alternative, but we were also prepared that there wasn't one. The, the hope uh, that, you know, Dr. Young's diet gave us was, it was really um, exciting. So it just made a lot of sense reading the book. There was a just a very sensible approach, uh, very well laid out. And so we decided to give it a go. Dr. Young, PH Miracle for Diabetes is the book we read. I got it right away and I read it and it made sense. And we called out to the PH Miracle Center and uh, they invited us to come out for a microscopy class, and we went out. We tested my blood, and uh, he looked it up on the screen. Uh -huh. I had a lot of acid crystals and yeast. Um, yeah, I didn't have as much acid crystals, but I had a lot of yeast and fiber stuff and garbage. He could see that his blood wasn't normal. And then Dr. Young showed him what normal blood looked like. And then his blood. And he could see they were misshapen and all clumping together. And, he, and then like Dr. Young said, if you eat the way that I've explained, you can put acid, in, you could put, I'm sorry, alkaline into your squirt gun. Your pancreas is like a squirt gun. And Gabriel got so excited on the way home, he goes, I am filling up my squirt gun, and I am going to shoot those acid crystals when they come by. And they are, I am <clears> going to shoot them so hard that they're out, but the next time I go, I'm going to show them that I won't have any. He was very motivated. 
Tell us not to have cheese, bread. He said to get the good stuff, like all the healthy stuff. Um, and we decided we would do it with them. Um, yeah, and uh, so that that also made a big difference. And and we noticed by doing the diet that we felt much better. So and, and continue to yeah, his blood sugars came down to normal within a week or two. And uh, it was amazing what happened. It was immediate. Gabriel's blood sugar started to normalize, and the rest is his history. Uh, Gabriel is no longer uh, a type 1 diabetic. And actually, even recently, as we go down later, they've even improved steadily. But they went within normal limits within about two weeks. So we went to another doctor, a consultant, and they said, well, as long as his blood sugars are normal, we might as well, you know, keep doing what you're doing. He seems very healthy. He feels a lot better. He used to come and hug me all the time and say, mom, thank you for doing this because I feel so much better. He could run again the three miles when we go on walks. I felt better. Like a lot more energy. Mm -hmm. Average, like... Even being able, yeah, you could tell you to were refreshed to go run around like one mile and you'll be fine. We exercise a lot more than we used to. We swim, we do, yeah, we do the bikes and all the basketball, yeah, all that stuff. And on the swings. I like shake the blood up and exercise and move everything around. They just seem a lot more energetic, like they used to be before. I've noticed that too. Helping their body to feel better. And I can tell they ha are having a lot more energy than before. Yeah, we noticed a huge, after about three weeks to a month, a, a very huge difference in his energy level, how he was feeling. And again, that's when he had decided, he said, I'm the, that's it, I'm becoming a doctor like Dr. Young because I want other children to feel better like I feel better. He could just tell such a difference. And we just kept basically for the next two months doing the same thing. In July, we had them tested again. So this new doctor, we have several doctors you know, monitoring them. The one doctor said, I want every two months to find out all these levels on this diet because he was so excited. He couldn't, you know, seeing that he had normal blood sugars with no insulin. Well, we went into his office in July, and he sat down, and he said, do you want to hear some amazing news? And we said, what? We were really shocked, actually, in a good way. He said, Gabriel's pancreas is starting to work again. And we were, we were like, what? What do you mean? He said his, he has insulin in his blood now, and his pancreas is almost normal. We weren't expecting that, and uh, it was just wonderful news. And he said, and Nathan he would now say is no longer type one, but is perhaps type two, in that his body is producing plenty of insulin, in fact, too much, because he's probably fighting something in his body to, to compensate for his body not receiving the insulin as it should. And so we're hopeful, we're very hopeful that uh, Nathan will get to the point that Gabriel has. So it's been wonderful news. Mm -hmm.